diaper? Spank your baby. I don't mean beat them. You gotta spank them, right? I know. Hey guys, so today we are gonna do episode two of my Sunday series. It is not near Sunday. I have not been around for three weeks, I think. Um, but I have been going to church still and I have been taking notes. I just have not been filming. So I thought that this would help me. It's kind of helping me, but it really still kind of isn't. But I am taking better notes now that I know that I might possibly be filming. So we are going to go into one of my favorite messages of the last three weeks since I have missed. Um, so yeah, we're just going to dive right in. So first, we are going to talk about, are you guys ready? Blessed Family Series. So this was about blessed sons and daughters. No, I do not have kids. I don't know when I'm going to have kids, but I still found this message very interesting. Some of you will like it. Some of you will not like it. But you guys, this message was about spanking your kids. Like we all know that some of these people out here, that you know they're the way they are because they were, they just ne were never tapped. I'm telling you, this is from the Bible, you guys. We need to, we go dig into this material um, and get some truth. So first we're going to start with the, like I said, the series was blessed families, um, blessed sons and daughters. The first thing that the pastor did point out uh, is that there's different stages of childhood and training your child. You have childhood, adolescence, and then adulthood. And in the childhood kind of age, that's 0 to 12. Um, adolescence is 13 to 19, and then adulthood is 20 and up. During the childhood phase is when he says that it is good to, um, well, A, spank the kids, um, but that's when you want to train them into basically the little human you want them to be. Uh, so going with the childhood, I want to point out some of the different uh, scriptures that he pointed us to and then read a few of them as well. In Ephesians 6, 4 is parents don't provoke your child to anger, discipline, and instruct them. A few things I did want to read in Proverbs um, because I know that, especially my age group, I feel like 20s and like maybe 30s, late 30s, there's this thing about spanking your kids. I know I got spanked, like, I don't know. Proverbs 23, 13, and 14. It says, don't fail to discipline your children. The rod of punishment won't kill them. Physical discipline may well save them from death. Save them from death. The next one I want to read is Proverbs 13, 24, 25, uh, just 24. Those who spare the rod of discipline hate their children. Those who love their children care enough to discipline them. I'm just going to let that sit right there. I don't make the rules, okay? This is, this is the Bible speaking. I didn't make this up. This applies to age 0 to 12. The pastor did mention that when punishing your kids or disciplining, however you want to say it, um, the rules are you need to be clear. You need to be convinced, convincing, and you need to be compassionate. Um, those are the three kind of things when disciplining your kids so they know exactly what they did wrong, why they're being punished, and you know how they should uh, act moving forward. From 0 to 12, he did mention that at this point, you are to tell your child. Basically, from 0 to 12, you're telling your child what to think. And then from 13 to 19, you're teaching your teenager how to think. So for your teenager, this is age 13 to 19. This is the age where you want to teach them. The pastor pointed out um, the scripture of Proverbs 22, 6. It says, direct your child on the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. Some of the passages uh, that were called out, I'm just going to list them. I'm not going to read them, are Deuteronomy 9, um, where it says, again, there's no more spankings in this age group, 13 to 19. However, you want to explain to them exactly what they did wrong. He pointed out Ephesians, Ephesians 6, 4 as well as Luke 2, 42 and 46. It just shows that you want to listen, ask questions, and it's a little bit more give and take in your conversations with your teenagers. The final stage is adulthood, that's 20 and up. There are multiple places in the Bible that says like as of age 20, that's when you start to tithe, that's like when you are an adult, not 18 as much as parents love the 18, but it's, it's 20 according to the Bible. Um, I have a couple of passages here, Exodus 30, 14. Um, again, it's, that's when you start tithing at 20 years old. They point out Numbers 1, 3, and Numbers 14, 29 to 32. Again, mentioning the 20-year-old. Um, so at age 20 adult. plus, you have less of a 
parent-child relationship and more of a brothers and sisters in Christ relationship with your parents because at this point they're no longer spanking you they're no longer telling you how to think at this point you should know how to think and be able to go to them for advice and make your own decisions Judges 14 4 is the story of Samson um, it basically the moral of that particular story is to honor your mother and father, respect them, and to seek their advice. So you should be able to go to your parents once you're at, after 20, um, ask questions, seek advice, listen to what they have to say, but at the end of the day, be able to make your own decisions and know that um, they trained you well enough when you were younger to make those decisions for yourself, and hopefully they'll be able to respect that uh, as a parent. Just to kind of summarize the entire message, because I know this is going to be super short video uh, you have childhood adolescence adulthood childhood is 0 to 12 at this stage this is when you should be spanking your kids when they're doing something wrong being very clear convincing and compassionate when explaining what they did wrong so they know exactly what's going on uh, adolescence you have 13 to 19 where you should be teaching them how to think not necessarily telling them how they need to think um, having a little bit more of a conversation uh, with your teenager than you would with a child. You don't need to have a conversation with a child, but again, no more spanking in this age. And then 20 plus is when you have an adult child. Um, instead of pushing your thoughts on them, and you want to be more receptive to when they come to you for advice and not so much be you know, judgmental or anything like that. Just you can still have those conversations and let them make decisions for themselves. Okay guys, so I know it was very short and sweet. That was episode two of my Sunday series. I will be back at it hopefully later this week, tomorrow Sunday, so take a lot of notes. Maybe I'll have a little bit longer of a message uh, for the next one, but I just wanted to share a little bit out of that uh, message that I learned because somebody out there needs to hear it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.